20 stories that look into the lives of 20 Oakland families, bringing their stories to life along with their native cuisine. And they are joining Alex this morning. Yes, indeed. Yes. Uh, well, thank you very much, Elazar and Anya. Thanks yeah, for thanks taking for the time. Us. Taking the time today. It sounds great. It's called Flavors of Oakland, and it's really uh, a cookbook. But more than anything, it's sort of a, a culinary tribute, if you will, exactly. to, to the vibrant communities we have here in the city of Oakland. That's exactly right. Tell, tell me first of all, what inspired you to to write this cookbook and come up with this idea? Well, you know, in the last few years. Um, since I'm 17, Anya's 19, so since we've... You Amazing, know, by the way. Thank you. Since yeah. we've been you know, really conscious in this world of you know, food and social change in Oakland, we've seen a lot happening and a lot changing in the city. And you know, restaurants have become really, really popular, really successful in the mm -hmm. city. But we felt, felt that there was some marginalization of the other voices, you know, mm -hmm. the home cooks, the immigrants who have these incredible stories. And you know, as two young people, we, we figured something we could do to do a little bit of change, just one small piece of this story is, um, you know, showing tribute to just 20 of these, you know, 400,000 faces. So what happens in the cookbook, Anya, is that you, you picked out 20 families and you highlight some the recipes that they, the things that they're making in their homes, and you talk about the stories behind them. Let's start with what we have here on the table in front of us here. Uh, tell me what we have, and, and, and tell me how you chose these families. How did you find these families? Um, well, first we have baklava, and then we have pork pot stickers. And most, our, we started out finding families. We didn't want to reach out to just our immediate communities because we didn't want it to end up being a book of our friends. So we tried to reach out to the entire community as much as possible. We went to local events and tried to reach out to people and told them about what we were doing and asked if they were interested in sharing a recipe. So um, Pavan, we actually found through she was. A mom of someone who went to my high school. Mm -hmm. As a grassroots so, as it gets, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Friends of friends of friends. And, yeah. and um, she was more towards the end, and we okay. looked into her because I remember that she had made this really good baklava that my other friend was telling me uh -huh. about once. And so I reached out to her and I was like, hey, do you want to be a part of this? And she was really excited to share her story with us and her food. So, so yeah, so this is actually a recipe her daughter, who I think is. 19 or 20 now, yeah, my age. has been making since she was in kindergarten. Beautiful. So when we actually were making the recipe the first time, we were making it from scratch notes her daughter had written in kindergarten. So these are, you know, as genuine um, old, real Oakland recipes as they get. It couldn't be, you know, it couldn't be more, more genuine from the heart of the city. Okay, so the, the cookbook you've created here with these, uh, you know, recipes from home cooks yeah. from around the city of Oakland, it's called The Flavors of Oakland, but it, it's not in print just yet, right? So explain to me where you are in the process and how, how do you get this cookbook out to the masses? Sure, so, you know, up until now, a lot of our, um, a lot of our process has been just really meeting with different people from around the city, understanding all the stories so that when we do write up these stories, we have you know, a really great way to explain how these people got to the city and why they're here now. Um, that took about a year. Mm -hmm. So now that we're done with that, we are finishing up, you know, the real meat of the book. The protein is so all done, so to speak. <laughs> and we are sending off to our designer. She's finishing it up. And after that, we send off to printers. We work a little bit with, you know, local government. We have Libby Schaff actually writing a forward, the mayor. Okay, so she's great. gonna do a little work with us. We're gonna find an event space for the final event. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have the books. We're gonna celebrate. We'll probably cry a little bit, hold them, jump around. We're gonna eat okay. a lot. Can we try these? Yes, absolutely. Can we give them a shot before we Might go. Might as well. What a, what a wonderful idea. You guys know, by the way, that that's not every teenager is uh, uh, writing a cookbook. <laughs> just so you guys know, that's uh, pretty amazing Cheers. what you guys are doing. Cheers, you guys. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious baklava. I think I'm, Wonderful. I picked the, maybe the messiest dessert. Oh, of course. Drink. It just spills all over the mm -hmm. place. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for joining us. Thank yeah, you. we really appreciate you taking the time and good luck with the cookbook. Thank you this so is much. Delicious. Thanks. Send it all back right. to you, Claudine. Make sure you share. We'll out. save some for you. Yes, please do. <laughs>